Hello everyone and welcome to episode 36 of the 6 out of 7 podcast. How are you? I'm good. Just so everyone knows, it's still not Liam, it's Jake. Jake. It's Jake, how are you? We've been having some issues with the sound, I don't know whether you can hear us, we might be through a tundra yeah. or like some sort of wind tunnel. Yeah. Um, do try and bear with us, I'm trying to fix it, Jake's been showing me things. I travelled um, on the subway, oh. which is a rare occurrence, so maybe I brought the ghost of the subway. <laughs> the ghost of the subway, the subway sound. noise, the... The shugal, they call it the shugal. I don't sure that's a sound of parody <laughs> English there. Because it like rubble, it rumbles, right? Is that, is that true? Is that a thing? Someone told me that once. I sort of just believe people. It's quite gullible. Yeah, but it rumbles. Like it, like the noise is called a, a shugal because it shugles you. Oh, okay. I'm going with that. You go with that? People How are always So what's your journey? Is it Bridge Street up the hill there? I've got on at Shields. Oh, Road. Shields Road. The Kelvin Bridge. The Kelvin Bridge. I didn't realise Hillhead. It's not really, they're, kind of, they're kind of equidistant, they're kind of equidistant, but Hillhead is the one I go to. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> what are we talking about today, I hear you ask? Well, listener, it's a DVD special, as you can read, because you can read. Part two, DVD special two. Liam's away, I'm just doing what I want, I'm doing rehashes. I really like this episode, it's like episode two or three last yeah. time, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Liam thought it was a bit like, nah. I liked silly. it, I listened to it in preparation. Really? Oh goodness, you're more prepared than me. <laughs> you know my DVDs and that, so, so like, I think... We're talking in and around it, but firstly, how was your week, Jake? How have you been? It's been alright, I've been a bit tired. Yeah? Just, just late nights. Late nights. Um, I felt like I was coming down with something. Mm-hmm. My throat was getting tight. Oh no. But I'm okay, I think. Yeah. Had some weird dreams. Some strange dreams, tell me about the dreams. There was a duck in a cupboard and it had high heels on. Uh-huh. And, I put, and I said something like, this duck is like my auntie. Right. It was like the avatar of ants and ducks. Coming right. Around. You could tell it was a feminine duck because yeah. it had a... Uh, it had like necklace and a hat and right. high heels and that was fine. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit like that bit in Harry Potter, the bogger in the yeah. cupboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very bogger like sequence. Yeah, when like, Neville like... Yeah, it in, he turns Snape into his, his, his granny. Yeah, 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 he's scared of Snape, he yeah. turns into his granny by the spell, as we all know. Sing along, audience. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, yeah. Ridiculous, yeah. Great spell. Great spell. I love it. My, uh, my little... My cousin's kid are fascinated with boggarts. Mm. Like, what is a bogger? What does a bogger look like in its natural state? Which is a very yeah, with Mad Eye Moody now. Yeah, what he's it? got that extra eye. Yeah, how do you like it? What is a bogger's natural form? It's only observed, right? You can only see it when it's when you're observing it, you, and you change the nature of it by looking at it. Yeah, how very curious. That's a strange dream. I've had any particularly bad dreams lately. I've been kind of on a good. Yeah. I've just been sleeping like flat out. Yeah, not really. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> trying to think, trying to think. No, not really. I'm sorry, you're having a bit of a, a sleep. It's all right. It's, it's the right. winter, isn't it? The onset of winter. Autumn makes me very emotional. Emotional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Too many films. Film podcast. So <laughs> yeah, you've gone from having the best guest. No. Of, in terms of film knowledge, to the worst. No. I haven't seen. I'm anything. glad that he'd seen Joker. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. But I've thought of things people have said about it. Who have seen it, and I'll just pretend they were. Yeah, mad. let's not do that. Let's see. Joker, I've seen You've it twice. About it. Liam will come back and he'll want to do a Joker yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. so we'll. Joker, we'll skip, we'll Forget slide about it. I saw a different film today, I saw. Not today, the other day. I saw you. Yeah. Um, you won't watch the film, though. Um, the Day Shall Come. Yes. It's pretty good. I'd yeah. recommend it. Like, I think it's. Paul Lyons. Yes, same guy, Chris Morris. Um, same guy in it. Guy. Yeah, yeah, and it's. Uh, it was pretty good. It was okay. It was very short. It was very, like, sort of flu. 88 minutes or something. I love films that are like yeah, sub ninety minutes. Yeah. I really enjoy that. And Chris Morris, like it was, yeah, it was pretty good. I think it's such a shame that these stories, like we're now just laughing at the fact that our governments are corrupt and that our wow. like the planet is just spiraling into this mad state of like nothing is true and everything is allowed and it's a bit upsetting when you think about it. But yeah. as a film, there's some quite good jokes. He talks to his horse. Quite nice. good. The horse responds. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Stuff like that. It's, it's, it's sort of a, a mild way to pass the time yeah. as we march towards. Brexit and whatnot. Boring, boring. Moving on, moving on. Boring. Speaking of like short films, though, I did watch The Passion of Joan of Arc. Oh, the, the 1927. Not seen it. Seven, so. My name. Very good. It. Very good. Yeah, I really loved it. It was eight, eight, eight or seven minutes long. Okay. okay. Oh, it's, it's a good, it's a good length of time. I'll, I'll maybe watch it. Have you got it on DVD? It's intense. No, I've watched it on BFI player. Ah, oh, BFI player. Got subscription. I do. Very nice. I do. Very nice. Do you like to talk about your yeah, no film knowledge? Good plug. B- BFI player, I'm sure it's good. It is really good. I actually, I got a seven day trial in order to watch that sinking feeling for the Scottish film podcast. That's a tangent no one cares about. So, DVDs. DVDs. You've got some. I've, I've got some. I bought one. Bought, so I bought mean, watched. I was looking for two DVDs uh-huh. that 
was kind of I didn't find the one I actually wanted, which mm. was maybe the first DVD we owned as a family, like wow. when I was a kid. We probably had another one. But yeah. when we got a <laughs> DVD player, like, yeah. like mum and dad got some DVDs, and then there was also a DVD for us, it was Atlantis, the animated. It's a great film. Mm. It's a great Disney film, it's overlooked. Well, that's why I wanted to re watch it. Yeah. Because maybe I'm just. No, I think it's pretty cool. It's like, like, it's like sci fi. It's like a yeah. sci fi well, film. Journey to the Center of the Earth thing. The other one I went for instead. He's dipping into his bag. Funny you should say about Disney sci fi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, instead I went for Treasure Planet. Oh my god, I fucking love it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Look at this. Which is kind of this when I couldn't find Atlantis, one. I thought this is Treasure this Planet is the bloody, second one. I fucking love it. You're a good, you're a good man for bringing this. <laughs> I love it. This is not. We're not taking this off you. You can have it because my gonna... disc drive doesn't work anymore. Oh, you're saying so you that. Mate, it's a gift. this is so nice. I will give you one of mine now. I will give you one of mine. No, no, because mine doesn't work. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> There's no point. I'll get you a disc drive. You need a, you get, you get yeah. a disc drive. I'm like Jake, Jake was saying like before I spoke, spoke to him about his podcast, because sometimes we plan for these things, he was telling me that um, he bought a DVD in order to watch, but DVD player doesn't work or disc drive doesn't work, so yeah. he watched it online. It you watched this online yeah. <laughs> with the DVD next to you. On the sofa. On the yeah. sofa next to you. I love it, man. In the, tradition, in the tradition of classic Disney storytelling comes a spectacular new family tale, family tale about a courageous young boy in search of his destiny who finds an adventure beyond his wildest dreams. Like, like, that's him on the soda set. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a clip in there. So that it's not yeah. a clip, just an image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent film. Everyone, I heartily recommend it. Second only <laughs> to Black Baldwin in Disney things. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to watch that's this right. tonight. Watch tonight. And yeah. that was the first DVD, Atlantis one. Atlantis was, yeah. but I remember we had that. Maybe we had that on video. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlantis. That crazy. Atlantis. That, remind, remind me, it's like uh, they're like these explorers. Yeah. Victorian explorers, and they go and they discover Atlantis, and like he falls in love with her. Are they Victorian? They're kind of, it's, it's kind weird, of. it's a weird sort of steampunky yeah. sci fi. Oh, thing. it's similar with that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's what, more of a sci fi. I can't remember Atlantis, but I remember like. She's like they have like these sort of jet skis that are like floating, like floating yeah, jet like skis. Yeah, like the they look like serpents of some kind. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. may have a weird sort of obsidian. It's just like Avatar in it's a way, like Avatar. where they fly around on the things, and the the there's the military guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah who like he wants machines. to? Yeah, he wants to. He wants to conquer it. Yeah, yeah. Blow up Atlantis. Yeah. And they're sort of secret. They've got cool tattoos, cool blue tattoos. Yeah, and, and, and they cool. fly on the the natively. Yeah. Things. Yeah. How did that? How did it end? How did that last end? I think they won. They won. The good and I think won. he stays with. Yeah, the with ginger guy with the glasses. No, she's white hair. No, he's ginger though. Is he not? Oh, he's ginger. Yeah. He's ginger. Ginger. Yeah. She's like. Is he not like all the really old? Aren't like they like immortal? These people. I don't know. I remember thinking when I was young that was odd that she was so old. old. Oh, this regular age. I don't know. Maybe they are old. I'm not I forget. Sure. I forget as well. Atlantis. It's a good one. Good DVD yeah. to have. You yeah. and your brother. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can see that in your in your life. <laughs> that totally makes sense to me. Did you say so? The uh, the laptop is having a little moment. We're still in this wind tunnel. Look at it. It's like jaggedy. All right. That's great. So you have you have fun in DVDs. And what I'm mm-hmm. gathering. Disney also part of that. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Shall I show you one of mine? Go for it. So I went. I like going to to. Uh, it's you know Greta Thunberg. Like the planet is wasteful plastic. Mm. But I like it. And also you get to go to charity shop. You chuck a fiver in, and you're helping people. I am picking up their, you know, someone else's tap. I got related to um, related to the day shall come. This day, the day shall come. Phone jacker, the Doof the series one. Have you ever, <laughs> no, have you ever seen watching. phone jacker? I think no. you would like phone jacker. So phone jacker is you've seen clips. You've probably seen clips. Everyone's seen clips. Phone jacker. There's a guy who's in a lot of like he's in a lot of Chris Morris films. He's also in um, what we do in the shadows, like mm. the TV show. His name, I should have it. Yeah, Kayvan Novak is amazing. He's so funny. And this is like basically just a series of skits, like a series of like prank phone calls. Right. But they use this sort of strange animation and like he plays all these characters. He's an amazing character actor. Uh, looking back on it, it's probably a little, a little bit racist, a little bit off color now. But it's fantastic. This is series one, which is by far the best one. And I'm giving you this. Really? I'm giving you this. You deserve this. Thank oh. you. So you give me sure no, that is that is for you. You should keep this. You, you should get a DVD player purely for that because it is bloody excellent. Those oh, of you right. who know Phone Jacker, you I know. Do you remember at school? You people really, watching you'd it. You'd have been young. Yeah, you'd have been young. 
where it was on telly. Yeah, it was on TV on Channel 4. Yeah, Channel 4 thing. people would talk about it and I just never saw it. Yeah, and they, it kind of like got this additional, like got syndicated or whatever you do when it got, it, and it became Face Jacker and he like came in as a like, big, uh, actual character and it became like interesting, like he was like covered in prosthetics and it was not as good. Sorry, that was uh, the part right. we were back. Interested, Phone Jacker? What do you think? Yeah. 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 Um, I thought Sasha Baron yeah. Cohen had a hand in this. He might have done. But, no, I don't think he did. Because I thought it was it. even. No, no, it's, it's this guy. He's so really guy. He's so good. I think I mean, in my mind, I just thought. I'm trying to think of a, 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 a quintessential clip I can link to describe this because it's so it's they're so good. Terry Tibbs from my favourite. Terry Tibbs. My name's Terry Tibbs. <laughs> oh, the carpet. The carpet. The apologies for my neighbours as well. But they live here too. They're allowed to live here yeah, and make noise. Course. Got another DVD? Interesting DVD show. Oh, right. I've got back. quite a lot, to be honest. Oh, yeah? I'm, oh, like I'm enjoying DVD sessions. In the, on the last episode, when you talk about crying at films and how people say, it's not like a lot to cry. I just, I always cry. Mm. I let it out. And when I watched Treasure Planet, I almost teared up at the end, but it didn't quite get me there. No, no. And so, so after happy I watched French it, offending. I watched the end of up to just let the tears out. <laughs> right, because, yeah, there's a bit where you like, the pressure builds, you're like, oh, this is unsatisfying. I need to go yeah, exactly. all the way. Yes, I hear that. I brought Paddington Ryan. 2. Paddington 2. That is not what I was expecting to come out of oh that bag. Of all God. the things to come out of that bag, <laughs> Paddington 2. Have you seen it? Yes, I've seen Paddington, I've seen Paddington 2. What a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> that is, is, I, can see, I can see there are five stars on that cover, but that yeah. is interesting. I, make, that makes you cry. I cried so much at the end, and I knew what the end was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know a mile off what the end is yeah. going to be. And then they do it anyway. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, do it, please. I need to cry. And I start crying. <laughs> oh, Jay. And then the fact that. I don't want to spoil that. It's got an amazing cast. That's an amazing yeah. cast. It's like, what's this? We've got Hugh Donneville, we've got Sally Jenkins, we've got flipping Julie Waters, Julie Waters Gleason, Peter Capaldi, Jim Broadbent. Like, amazing, amazing cast. Um, and Ben Lusher is an amazing voice as well. And Hugh Grant is actually a play too. He's, like, the, like he's the villain of yeah, the piece, isn't he? Like, very, he's the villain of the piece, yeah. yeah. Did a great job. There we go, Paddington I 2. Love it. Watch it. This Brendan is, Gleeson. This is very exciting. I've got fewer DVDs than you, so I'm going to hit number yeah, two. Yeah, go for it. Go hit for it. Two right now. Hit number two. The thing about, and I was in a charity shop, right? So you get such, it's all sort of strange, eclectic collection things, like it's like 300 copies of 300. Yeah. It's like 12 copies of 400. <laughs> it's like, so like you, always get, you always get about six copies of Pirates of the Caribbean, Black Pearl, which Pirates is the best the one. Black yeah. Pearl's the best one, but it it's, it's always there, right? I also love the but when you find a treat like I Bill Bailey tinsel, you're like, I have to own it. I, I, I bought this probably three or four times. <laughs> I'm just give it to people. I'm not going to give this one to you. I've given you phone jack but this. Tits. That sounds so mean of me. Maybe you have got a DVD player. Anyway, right. tinsel one live at Wembley, right? Mm. Bill Bailey is phenomenal. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal performer, and it's so brilliant. I just love it. Yeah. And I, I watch. I've, I've seen this on YouTube. Like all this stuff's on YouTube. It's like, why would you buy plastic? I'm sorry, Greta. I just want to own it. Yeah. Tinsel haven't seen it. You're aware no, of it? No. Not seen it. You might have to watch some before, before we go. I think where I've seen that is that on one of Stuart Lee's. Um, you can hold it. You can hold it if you want. Thank you. I want to. In mm. Stuart Lee's latest uh, show, mm. the comedian, mm-hmm. on his on the stage, he just had loads of DVDs of. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. I recognised that. Sitting somewhere, yeah. He like, he, like stomps across yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Yeah. Stuart Lee. I love him. Oh, right. Sometimes he's probably got DVDs out there I could have bought, I could buy and look and consult. But yeah, I, I think that the, when you get like little like live sets and stuff like that, it's great. It's two quid. It's, it's never occurred to me to buy one. Do it. Do it. Why not? I'm I will. Yeah. I'm I'm will. Yeah. Just find something you know that you like and watch it if you want. I think I don't usually like the design of the DVD. And that so that that's unappealing to you. This it is one is all right. A strange face. This is some pleasing colours. Yeah. But often they look really rubbish. Like yeah. like. Alan Carr and ah, his suit and yeah. he's like I wouldn't do that yeah it's a good point I, I hear that I, don't, I mean I'm, Alan Carr I don't you know don't really understand but that's no I don't either. Bill Bailey I think that's as an artist you appreciate that image that would yeah, be, nice. be in the video write in if you disagree maybe you look hideous maybe you don't like it but no, Bill think, Bailey's amazing I'm going to clip that as well amazing composition pleasing composition composition very nice yeah Firing along, oh, firing along hit us another, hit us another right. DVD give us another DVD I'll give, I'll give you one of my favourites Oh, a favourite now well, the other ones I have in here are favourites. Mm. You've got a lot, this bag is. There's not that. There's sort of not Mary Poppins there. I'll get, I'll get Stalker out. Stalker? I'll get Stalker. Curzon Cinema, after July. It's very, I think, I think Criterion have done a, a, 
a re-release of it. I think mm. it's supposed to be a better quality. Than uh, that's a shame. You can get the other one as well. It's got an yes. exclusive booklet inside of it. It does. It's quite, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's wow. got a What's Stalker review. about? So, I'll just read you a blurb. Yeah, do it. In a future world that has been seemingly ravaged by war and poverty, there exists a myth of hope among the people. A forbidden place known only as the zone, <laughs> the heart of which, if reached, grants one's most innermost desires. Ooh. Two men, a writer and a professor, hire someone known as a stalker, a guide who can navigate the treacherous and compelling path that leads to the, the centre, centre of, of the zone. zone. Wow. Instantly consider almost definitive artistic contemplation of human aspiration and the ambition we employ to achieve it. It looks, sounds bloody good. That is great. I love it. There you go. I mean, I watched um, it on New Year's Eve. Right. In on this DVD. On this yeah. DVD. Yeah. This. Yeah. I, this, this is where it's worth the self same DVD. Yeah. I like that. I like like the memories of that. I like, grab and do. Like, I remember first putting this on for whatever. It's nice. You don't have that with streaming. I'm not like, anti streaming. Yeah. Obviously, I'm on the internet right now. But <laughs> I think. I think. If we came, if, if I could find a way to release DVDs of this podcast and hand them out to people, I we would could do that. Yeah, but what about Greta? What about Greta say? Who's Greta? Greta Thunberg. Oh right, okay. I you know, you know you save the world. I thought you did. she was to do with this podcast. She was a friend. No, I wish Greta. Right, reach out, reach out to me, Greta. Right, so this one, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have an interlude <laughs> because uh, I I saw this. This is purely like I was sort of like, oh, this is one grab that. Mm. Oh, Phone Jack, I know this thing. This was a film I haven't seen that I'm purely sort of judging a DVD by its cover. Right, I like it. Don Juan de Marco, oh. Marlon Brando, Johnny Depp, and Faye Dunaway. That's a really nice cover. Look at that. I don't oh, know. I like that. I just saw it and was like, what is that? What is that about? I like, I like the Don Juan story as well. This is, he's old, man. It's old. It's late. It's early Johnny and, and late Marlon. <laughs> he has Marlon. too much hair. He's, that's probably not his. It's like, <laughs> it's sort of the, the mid 90s, I would guess. Francis Ford Coppola, man, like just crazy, film. crazy film, right? So we're, we're doing loads. I love this cover. I mean, look at this, man. Yeah. So, it's on the door. Um, Ten days before his retirement, Dr. Jack Mickler, Marlon Brando, a highly respected but burnt out psychiatrist, takes on his last and most difficult case. It's Don Juan, Johnny Depp, the world's greatest lover, master cloaked in a flowing cape, the seducer of more than a thousand women. <laughs> more than a thousand, that's several, that's a lot. Mickler has 10 days to evaluate and treat this delusional patient. That's, that's, just, that's not enough time. But Don Juan's glorious tales of love, passion, and romance had Dr. Mickler captivated. He begins to examine his own life, which has become stale, and to rekindle the spark long since lost to his wife, Marilyn. Furthermore, Dr. Mickler starts to become convinced that this is indeed the real Don Juan he's dreaming, which is crazy because that's like an ancient, old school character but look at that man it's just this like, is i'm i don't want it and so and i'm so, seduced by this dvd there we go and like in the spirit of that i'm gonna we're gonna have a little intermission everyone guys if you want to watch at home i'm gonna put the trailer on we're gonna sit and watch oh, this trailer okay all right so like guys i'm gonna link it in the description the one that we're gonna watch you can pause pause, it now. pause your video like come interact come in we're gonna watch the video <laughs> the 1994 trailer the official trailer this is just the first thing that comes up right let's do it all right we'll do it let's see you in a bit all right we're back I loved it. You loved that. I loved it. Wasn't that weird? Wasn't the nineties are crazy? I thought, yeah. I, I feel like Marlon Brando has become the archetypal granddad mm. in that film. What a weird is that a bodysuit he's wearing? I don't know. What's I going think on? Just him. He's just very like very old Marlon Brando. Yeah. Like God, what what like what kind of depth did he have <laughs> that made him need to do that film? I don't know if I need to see the film now. Yeah. The trailer was a film of its own. It, yeah, I'm Which kind of feeling the same. I'm kind of feeling the same. It is 93 minutes long. Don't know. Probably will watch it. Yeah, it's, it's got 10 chapters. Not... It's, it's divided into chapters. Oh. Very literary, like Don Juan. Oh. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any feelings on that, do write in because I don't have any. I'm sort of stumped by that. That's not, yeah, not that's at all. Fun. I mean, kind of everything and nothing that I expected. The, the reviews on it say, terrific, News of the World. Remember them? Remember News of the World? Gone now. <laughs> Wonderful Magic, Daily Mirror, Hot and Sexy The Sun. Oh, it was hot and sexy. It's the story of a man who thought he was the greatest love in the world and the people who tried to cure him of it. Bloody mad, man. Nines were a weird time. 994, how old were you? 994. I was minus four. Negative one. I was two. But it's good looking, good looking Johnny Depp and uh, just a strange, strange thing. I think grab these things to find out. Don Juan de Marco, it's kind of even like the, the spine is like off. Yeah. You can kind of see like the wrapping doesn't go all the way around. It's a cheap DVD. I really love that. Right, let's just sit on that for a second. Yeah. We need to, we need to clear ourselves of that because that was weird. Oh, Don 
Yeah, one. Well, I, I, I love that. I thought he was like Zorro. He was yeah. like, dressed like Zorro for like so much of the film. Like, what? Really? <laughs> Swinging a sword. It's <laughs> Don. It's Don Juan. How weird. What on earth is that? It's probably, probably really like an un uh, an unsophisticated reconstruction of like mental health. Like, it's yeah. probably a lot of like he's mad, and they'll just like make over fun of the fact that he's clearly mad. Yeah. Anyway, hit us with another DVD. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Hit us with another DVD. Okay. All right. All right. I'll go for all that jazz. All that jazz. A Bob this Foss film. looks rubbish. Oh. This is not indicative of the film. No. The cover of this. Um, mm. Starring, what's his name? Roy Scheider. Okay. Jaws. Yeah. Cool. Um, it's very good. What's it about? It's about. Um, it's won four Academy Awards, I know. It's Roy Scheider. It's sort of autobiographical mm-hmm. in a way of Bob Fosse's life, who was a um, a dancing a dancer slash actor sort of and dance choreographer. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's Roy Scheider is a dance. Show kind of choreographer, uh-huh. and it's very. What's the word? It's just about his life. <laughs> I don't want to give like, too much away. Yeah, this is hard. You, but you, re- you thoroughly recommend that yeah. all the DVDs in your collection. This is one that you this, would bring a to a lot. podcast yeah. or show something. Yeah. I really recommend it. Yeah. The the DVD okay. menu of this yeah. is also completely <laughs> mad. Just doesn't represent the film at all. I love that. I love DVD menus. Like. I, it's absurd. It's absurd. I, I love the Star Wars, the DVD menus from Star Wars. Like it's like a whole. They do like a whole sequence. Like, I remember for Attack of the Clones, like one of the best bits of that DVD was the DVD menu. Yeah, right. Like, did when they were flying through the city, flying yeah. through Coruscant, that was bloody yeah. cool. Yeah, isn't you, it? With each different menu bit, you would fly through a different yeah. sequence. Like I, I think DVD menus mm. again. Like this is a film podcast. Like that should have been around in the early two thousands. Now that we're here, DVD menus. What's that? I hear you are. <laughs> Get a DVD True. and find out. Yeah. Get a DVD and Get find out. Get a DVD, out. put it into a computer, and it just isn't, yeah. isn't made for that. It doesn't it's work. It's made for a remote, it's a remote it's screen, and like you, you watch it yeah. and enjoy it as it goes. You know, The Indiana Jones one, I remember my Indiana Jones DVD collection had a great, it did the, all the music, and it's just like the aeroplane would fly over. It's bloody excellent. As a kid, I would try and get through the menu really quick Why? if I hadn't seen the film, because a lot of the time they spoil it. Okay. They oh, like wow. show sequence. They like show the film <laughs> up there. Yeah, before and you even watch them. Films that I have watched, and then I'm on the DVD menu, and I can clearly recognise that's from the end of the film. Mm-hmm. This clip they've put up there what, at, at the front of the DVD. Yeah, it's shocking. You're right. Sort it out, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing, laptop? You're still, you're still going. That's yeah, fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's, that's all that jazz. This all that strange. jazz. All that jazz. It's it's good. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. What's your first? Or how did you acquire this DVD? It came to my attention, it was when La La Land came out, okay. and people were saying, oh, well, if you enjoyed that, you should really watch all, all that, that jazz. jazz, so I asked for it for Christmas. Oh, Christmas present. DVDs are good Christmas presents, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. DVDs are very good Christmas presents. Yeah, and mind. CDs too. Like yeah, yeah. Christmas. Even though everyone can watch everything anywhere, at yeah. all times, a DVD is like a... Give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, thank you for giving me that. That's so That's nice. all right. Thank you. I'm Don't still... Treasure it. Planet, guys. Everyone watch Treasure Planet. It wasn't quite the film I remember. No. But I did enjoy it. I can I expect that like, there was a, an, abor- an abortive sequel where they went to uh like they were gonna do a second one where he goes to like a school, which I as yeah. you know I hate it. He goes to like it's a, better as one film. It's better as one film and like the book is just one book, like Jim Hawkins doesn't come back and then go to bloody yeah. pilot academy. Nonsense. That's what not what Steven Well they say about that at the end, like he's gonna go Yeah, yeah. And then like, he has like a romance and Long John Silver breaks out and it's just a whole it's a whole bloody thing. Nah, I believe that's the one story. It's so good, man. Yeah. It's just I think it is a nostalgic bit of me. I came back to Black Cauldron and loved it, and I expect I'll probably do the same thing with it. But I might not. I might not. The aliens look very strange. Mm. I'm looking at this. This like, front this cover is wrong. Like the film yeah. doesn't look. Like no, that. no, none of the characters are ever really together in one sequence either. Like you never see them. All, all these characters in the in the one on the ship together. Like he never smiles. He doesn't smile. No, he's brooding. Yeah. He's old Jim Hawkins. That yeah, that that weird pink monster morph. thing. Morph. There you go. Yeah. Morph. You remember this one better than I do. And this robot guy. Yeah. He's just ripping off a bit of uh, just ripping off Ben. Uh, Robin Williams, the character. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's, it's, it's the Robin Ben Williams. it's the Ben Gunn thing. Yeah. Buckle up for thrills and excitement. Oh, you bet I am. <laughs> you bet I bloody am. So. How are, we, how are we doing? How I doing? have one more DVD. Final DVD. Let's see the final DVD, Jake. It's not. It's nothing that exciting. Let's see it. Andre Rublev, which is Ooh. the same director as Stalker. Yeah, Stalker, cool. Andre this is this is someone I haven't met before. 
They're very, they're slow films. Mm. I don't. Do you like them? I love them. Why you like them? I can't even. I don't even understand it. <laughs> I think it connects with something subconscious. It does something to to pin to him yeah. because he's very. He's a very image based filmmaker, uh -huh. and he lingers a lot on a frame. And cool. Then, and it all just you just take great. it all in every frame of painting kind of thing. Kind of, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's nice. And Andrei Rublev is about a 15th century uh, Russian icon painter who actually existed. Okay. And he was alive in a very turbulent time of yeah. Russia. Yeah. And it's kind of like a dark... When has Russia not been in a turbulent yeah. time? Yeah. <laughs> when has Russia just had it easy? This Never. is essentially a dark and terrible horse gun. Oh, not cool. terrible. Quality. That's a great. That's a great. You should put that on the box. <laughs> the dark and terrible Forrest Gump. Well, it's, that's it's definitely it's caught chapters. my attention. Yeah, yeah. And it just kind of flicks between chapters. And Andre Rublev is not always the central character. You might oh. just be passing through whatever the story is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. And it kind of skips. So it's like a, se a series of different, yeah. of discrete stories. That sounds really cool. I want. Really I want to watch it. It's long. I want to watch it. I might. Uh, find it. I will find it. Like the artificial eye, like the the question. I have a good Kurosawa yeah, somewhere. Like yeah, a, yeah, they do. Yeah. They have a lot of cool Kurosawas. Yeah. Like in that sort of. In, I don't know what you call that. Like the printing that artificial eye. Whatever. Anyway, not relevant. Sort of relevant. It's a DVD special. It's mm. a DVD. It's relevant. You should get a DVD player, man. I know. You should, I you've got some lovely. I want to watch it. No, man, hang so. on to it, mate. I don't want that off you. I will find it. I will find it. I've been looking to like. I've got a new place. It's been very complicated my place. But it's beautiful. It's lacking in space. But I think me wanting to go with you is probably a mistake. I'm going to probably do something like what you're doing, like BFI description. Like a fantasy I description. recommend it. Cool. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, 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 might not. I, I hope you never cut anything. I cut. No, you don't. You, you, claim, you, I, I you say you're going to cut things, <laughs> but you just don't cut them. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. I was rushing to a deadline. Yeah. I apologise everyone about last week, which was in fact yesterday. <laughs> it's going to come out. This one is going to come out. You're going to get two in a weekend. I promise you. Two in a weekend. You lucky devils, you. Anyway, that's about a podcast length for me. I don't know where yeah. we're at. I think we're going to short and sweet. We've got our DVDs in. We're yeah. sort of, you know, we're, we'll get something out of this. Hopefully. I think this is, a, yeah, I like this short and sweet. Well, we were saying we like the short films. I like the short films. I like short podcasts. I like podcasts that sound good as well. And I'm concerned this, this, this might not be that. <laughs> I think we but, can make it all right through. Yeah. Jake's going to show me some magic, some, some, exactly. some technical technical wizardry, which I'm looking forward to. So Liam's back in the country. He's kicking about. He's doing his thing. He'll be wrapped next week. We'll see him for episode 37. I've missed him. I've missed him too. Have you spoken to him? No, 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 I didn't even know where he was. Here's a picture of him in Florida. Oh, that's bad snap. Here it is, again. There you go. And there it goes. You go. You go. No, it you go. No, I took the first we'll one. Just leave, we'll just leave it lingering there for the end of the podcast. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that was silly. I apologise, Liam. I hope you don't mind. I'm using your image. Um, next week, we'll be back to normal scheduling. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for bearing with this noise. I expect it will be a bit irritating. Yeah. Um, thanks for coming, Jake. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming to my Thanks house. Thanks for having me. My room. Beautiful. Thanks. Um, I'll see you all next week. See ya.